the three days of darkness. Oh man, oh, let me let me get on the internet real quick here. Let me get on the internet real quick here and, and look and see. Um, I'm look, I'm starting to Google three days of darkness 2013. Um, it says here it's going to happen by September of 2013. September 26th. No, already passed. Um, three days of darkness coming. Be beware. Uh, the skies are going to turn dark in November of 2013. Uh. Uh, make sure you're ready because the rapture is going to happen November 2013. It says uh, all over the internet. Let me see how many pages that I have. There's five. Um, there's there's ten. There's twenty. There's thirty. Fifty. A hundred. A thousand. Wow. Three days of darkness coming. Oh wow. Everywhere. They're saying that <clears throat> since it happened in Exodus. Let's let's go to scripture. Exodus. Chapter 10, verse 21 to 23. King James Version Bible, as always. And the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out thine hand towards heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be left. And Moses stretched forth his hand towards heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt for three days in Egypt. And let's see what the New Testament says. <clears throat> Matthew 24, 29, 30 to 31. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then there shall appear the sign of the, of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of, the, of heaven to the other. That's talking about the after the rapture, that's the end of the great tribulation, Right before Jesus Christ sets up the Millennial Kingdom, this is not the rapture, this is at the very end of the seven-year tribulation. So that's at least seven years after the rapture. And Exodus is talking about, about uh, Moses and Egypt and Pharaoh. Show me one place in the Bible where it says there'll be three days of darkness anytime. You won't find it. It happened in Egypt with the Pharaoh and Moses. It's going to happen at the very end of the darkness, but it doesn't say one day, two days, three days, a week, a month. It says darkness. So there's no three days there at all. So show me somewhere in the Bible where it says there's three days of darkness coming up. All these false prophets and all these people that, that post what false prophets say all over their walls trying to get views on their, on their YouTube channels, you're all going to answer to Jesus Christ for spreading lies and for tricking young Christians. I get so many messages from babes in Christ that are confused by you guys that keep lying to them about this three days of darkness junk. I'm getting so tired of it. I have to try to explain to these babes in Christ what the Bible says. You guys are leading them astray. You're causing them to stumble. And woe, woe, woe unto you, my friends. You will answer to Jesus Christ for this. So I got a little 411 for you. You might be selling. Paul Kidd's not buying. Above all, Jesus Christ isn't buying. You better stop with the lies. Start telling the truth. And everybody listening to this video, please, 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 I beg of you, stop listening to all these preachers and teachers and watchmen and so-called prophets and so-called apostles. Stop listening to them. Open your King James Version Bible. Get your concordance out and start checking for things yourself. And you're going to find you're not going to see what they're telling you is in your Bible. I don't care the way they phrase it. Don't use their words. Open your Bible, get your concordance, and find out for yourself if this stuff is real. If the Bible doesn't say there's going to be three days of darkness, in September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, of any year, I'm not believing it. You might be selling, Paul Kidd's not buying. So please, start relying on your Bible, my friends. The great apostasy is here. Jesus Christ said in the last of the last days, which we're in, that we're in the last moments of the last days. People will be flocking to people that, that teach what their itching ears want to hear. And people are going to fall away from God in droves and teach wicked, false, evil doctrines. Doctrines of deception, doctrines of demons, damnable heresies. Please run from these people, my friends. Run away as fast as you can. I'm working up a video right now where I'm researching 100 pastors, evangelists, televangelists, also on YouTube and on Facebook, and also a bunch of other people as well. I'm gonna give you the breakdown of how many of them teach the truth. That video is coming up soon, watch for it. But right now, if you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, or if you're a backslider, you believe the lie of once saved, always saved, that teaches that once you get saved, sin don't matter, I got some bad news for you. Some more 411. I got 250 scripture 
all from the King James Version Bible. It's the word of God. It's not my word or your word. It's God's word. It says, repent, repent, repent. If you don't repent of your sins, you won't step foot into heaven or be raptured. That's the end of discussion. The Bible's not debatable, my friends. It is what it is. It says what it says. So if you're one of those two, two groups, let's pray now before your time runs out, before you get left behind for seven years of hell on earth that makes today's falling apart world look like Disneyland, where you'll have to be hunted down like a wild animal, starved, thirst, have your head chopped off after you're tortured for refusing the mark of the beast and living in a world this, where all hell breaks loose like even Hollywood couldn't make a movie that bad. Do you want to be part of that? You want to be part, be in heaven with me and with a few who are ready to be raptured soon. Let's pray. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again the third day and went back to heaven to be at the right hand side of the Father. Since that day, you're making a place in heaven for all your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, the child of the King. Your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. When you get saved, get you a King James Version Bible. It's a living, breathing word of God. Will you feed your body with food and water every day? This Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Pray to Jesus daily. He loves you. He's your new best friend wants to talk with you every day. Get water baptized as soon as possible. Dunked underwater. If you're sprinkled baptized in the past, it don't count, my friends. Do it over again. Pray to be sanctified. Fill with the Holy Spirit from head to toe. By living for Christ, pray and read the Bible every day. Take that King James Version Bible to church when the preacher speaks. Make sure it matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out. Find someone else to worship. And lastly, repent, 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 repent. Every time you sin, after you're saved, repent if you want to go to heaven. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. When I prayed for it, the Lord gave it to me. If you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in His holy will. I've seen Him do it thousands of times, my friends. And if He does, it's all because of Him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in His kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Let's focus on the Bible, the Word of God. Let's forget about all this garbage that people are talking about all the time. Let's focus on the Word of God. Let's focus on reaping the harvest. So plentiful, it's rotting in the field because there's so few harvesters. Let's pray and witness every day to the lost. Forget anything that man says. If you can't find it in the Bible, ignore it. If I tell you something you can't find in the Bible, ignore it. But guess what? You won't because I always tell you 100% from the Bible. You don't get my opinion. I always tell you what God's word, not Paul Kidd's opinion says. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. See you tomorrow, Lord willing, for the next word the Lord gives me. If I'm not raptured or dead. Have a blessed evening. Bye.